Hemlock woolly adelgid is a tiny pest posing a giant threat to hemlock trees in Georgia. It is an aphid-like insect that feeds on the sap of eastern and Carolina hemlock trees. It can kill a tree in just four years after infestation. The hemlock woolly adelgid, native to the Pacific Northwest, Japan, and China, was accidentally introduced into Virginia in the 1950s. It was first discovered in Georgia in 2003 in Rabin County. It is now in almost all Georgia counties with native hemlocks and is spreading at an alarming rate. It is only one sixteenth of an inch long. As the adelgid matures, it produces and covers itself and its eggs with a white waxy filament, which protects it from predators and from drying out. Found primarily on the underside of branches and at the base of new growth needles, it is most conspicuous from late fall to early summer. Adelgid eggs hatch into crawlers, which is the first nymph stage and only mobile stage of the insect. The crawler settles at the base of a needle, inserts a long feeding tube called a stylet into the needle, and feeds on the starch inside. Removing the starch inhibits the tree's ability to produce new growth. All ages and sizes of hemlocks can be attacked by the adelgid. Trees that have been infested for a couple of years will look unhealthy, appear dull green to gray, with premature needle loss and branch dieback. Tree mortality usually occurs four to ten years after it is infested. There are no native predators in the southeast that have a significant impact on hemlock woolly adelgid. Predator beetles native to Asia and the Pacific Northwest have been imported, but their success is undetermined. Because of this, chemical control options are being used. The most popular chemical control is to apply a systemic insecticide to the soil around the tree. The insecticide is taken up by the tree and is present in the needle when the pest attaches itself to it. The pest is killed when it ingests the insecticide. To apply the insecticide, the applicant must read and follow the label. Most labels require the applicant to measure the trunk's diameter, which determines how much insecticide is applied into the ground. This can be done either by using a soil injector or digging a trench and pouring the mix into the trench and covering it up. A different insecticide can be applied to the trunk. The insecticide is absorbed through the trunk and into the needles. This method is effective if the tree is close to water and if a quicker response is needed. The applicator still measures the trunk diameter, but they then have to calculate the amount needed, mix it in water, and apply it with a backpack sprayer to the trunk. Research shows that the soil application method lasts four to five years. The trunk spray lasts only three years. Other applications include pumping the tree with insecticide by boring holes in it, but this damages the tree too much. A foliar spray can be used, but it does not last as long as the systemic insecticide. For more information about the hemlock woolly adelgid and its control, contact your local University of Georgia Cooperative Extension Office or your local Georgia Forestry Commission Office.